Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I have a homegrown story straight from the banks of Lake Erie. Oh, okay. All right. A home, a hometown hit, huh? Yeah, a hometown hit. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm... Ashtabula County News. Whoa, th- from there? Yeah. Hometown. Holy crap. All right, man. How? It, you know what? I feel like we need to take a trip back sometime. I've been. I, I know you've been. So why do we need to take a trip? When because we need to go. We got to go together. Like, what's the... We do, like, an on-location seen... podcast from a crack house? Yeah. <laughs> This used to be a store. Now it's a homeless shelter because they just live there. That's true. Honestly, I think it'd be cool if we did like take like a camera down there and just like be like, yeah, this is where we used to, this is where I used to live. We could go to Ohio Village. We could go to like. There'd be no. To your tra- everything's gone. To the trailer park. I, even better. Even yeah, better. We this could do where like, my high school used to be. We could do like a mini documentary. Have you sit in, sit in a chair, do some talking head work. Be like, oh. Yeah. Be like, I remember when I used to go here and Jones. underage and buy cigarettes from the store. Jones, we get enough footage. I will edit that shit. I will make it look good. I'll go to Ashtabula and make a documentary. What? I'll go to Ashtabula and make a documentary. To make a documentary? All, all right, right, all right. Anyway. That's the purpose. All yeah, right, yeah. all right. I like this idea. It's never going to happen, guys. I just want to let you know that. I mean, I'll but do that, though. we are talking about it. I'll make the co- talk about the cover bridges. Yeah. Hey, hey, we can go visit so anyways, Cover Big Pizza. Just saying. Hey, I think they closed. But even better. Um, everything closed. So two ladies took a man mm-hmm. to the bank and they withdrew nine hundred dollars oh, from his account. <laughs> they wiped him out, huh? Yeah. That's like that's like the entire Ashtabula Treasury. <laughs> <Damn>. Wow, bro. <laughs> that's every that's every how how will they survive? And then there was just one problem. He was dead. They took a dead guy to the so to they the bank? they lived with this eighty year old man. Oh, they found him dead at home. Oh. So instead of calling the ambulance or whatever, first they loaded him in the car, took him to the bank, withdrew nine hundred dollars, then they dropped him off at the Ashtabula County Medical Center and just left. Dropped the dead man off at the ER and then just. But they took him to the bank for- took him to the bank so wait 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 all right hear me out all right first off absolutely disgusting behavior i want to i want to begin with that so i you feel know like my- you're gonna do something to oh yeah because i'm giving my true feelings at the at the beginning as a disclaimer when i say hilarious when i picture this weekend at bernie's where in I picture- ashtabula shit i just picture these two like meth addicted ashtabuliites just like Walking in, this old man just like his legs dangling. Just like we, I think they went through the drive-through, but yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. Well, this is what I saw in my head. Yeah, and yeah. They're like, like he's like, they're like moving his mouth to make him talk. I'd like to withdraw nine hundred dollars, and they're like just moving his jaw. And they're, they're like, like, how much do I have in there, anyways? Yeah. And they're like, nine fifty. Oh, I'm gonna take it all over. And then one of them like flips his hand onto his hat and like lifts it up as he leaves. Later, ladies. And he's got like these sunglasses. And I don't know. A shoe he falls rough, out. Of- he had a rough night. He's All right, drinking. But, but I do want to say disgusting, disgusting. behavior. It's disgusting. But that's I mean, they make a whole fucking movie about it. Weekend at Bernie's. So they I mean, it, you can't make jokes about it. I don't know if that works, but sure. Yes, if Jonah says it's all right, it's all right morally. Morally, oh, I don't know about morals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but uh, no, I, I like. It was funny because when I saw that story on Reddit, it said Ohio women. Take dead man to the bank. Oh, and I was man. like, I bet this is home. <laughs> like, I clicked on it. And it sure as F oh, was. Oh, my gosh. That, that's that's insane, Jonas. Did it have a picture of him? Oh, yeah. They were meth at Oh, wait, 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 Jonas. Guess what race it is. All right. You know what race does kind of crazy shit like this. Yeah, all right. Look, black people, we ain't, we ain't fucking around with dead bodies. You ain't, you ain't ever heard of a black dude <laughs> taking a dead body anywhere. No, I could see black women maybe, but nah, black dude, I ain't messing around with a dead body. Black women seriously wish that all men would die anyway. I wow. think most women kind of feel that way. Jesus deep Christ. Deep inside. No, I I, like, look, there's misogyny and there's misandry, Jonas, that like lies in the hearts of all of us. 
but I don't know, man. I think women take it to a different level. Like, you know, I'm a guy, and I don't know if I can speak for all guys, but, you know. I just, uh, please please don't speak for me. No, I'm going to speak for all guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to speak for every man on the planet. Okay. We just want to be loved, man, you know? Oh, yeah, that's true. You know? I'll, I'll say that's true. We just want to be loved by somebody who doesn't want anything from us. Yeah, we don't I would you. say that's abs- that's absolutely true. Yeah. Okay then. then we want to feel loved and not used. Yeah. That's yeah. It. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yep. I, you know what? And I just God like, damn. You know, maybe, 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 you know, maybe I just got a different viewpoint on things. But maybe, uh, who knows what the relationship was with this guy? Oh yeah, I don't know if he was 60, 60 He was eighty. Eighty years old, and they were. I don't. They were younger. They, like it seems like almost like a caretaker type of situation, or maybe like they were neighbors or something. Somebody who would like know, but to take him to the bank is insane. Like, because you're gonna get found out. How are you? How would you like to be the worker who fell for it and gave him the nine hundred bucks at the bank? <laughs> I mean, he probably was on meth too. They probably they have like don't they have just like meth lines like lined out in the bank teller stands when you walk into the bank in Ashtabula? Uh Pretty sure. I don't know. I haven't been in one in a minute. I'm pretty sure because you can just like go to the corner store and get like you know a couple bags of meth. A fitty rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah, you need. I don't know. Whatever you need in Ashtabula. I think you could. What's your? You want poppers? You want zanny bars? Zanny bars. I don't know. Whatever you do. Who dillies? Ooh, yeah, the oh, homo cakes. All of that stuff, I, man. I feel like there's a lot more going on in Ashtabula than just this. Uh, I would say so. Yes, like there's definitely an underground ring of some sort. Like how? I don't know what it is, but it's something. There's a ring, and it's underground. Yeah, it's in somebody's underwear. I don't know. Wait, what is that? <laughs> that ring? Oh, a ring in their under. Okay, dirty booty. Okay, <laughs> dirty booty. <laughs> All right, you got it, man. <laughs> 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 what? Nothing, man. <laughs> I, I just know that Ashtabula is a, is a crime haven. I live there. Uh, I've seen the meth addicts myself. If you think I'm joking, if you think we're joking, take a visit. See yeah. How, see how cool you get addicted to meth just breathing the air. Down yeah, there. I walked in there and I didn't walk out almost. Yeah. I almost OD just from walking in the street. I'm telling you. It was so much in my veins. It's just, the, the, the streets are just lined with needles. Yeah, it's, it's really. It's not like that. uh, it's, it's like, like uh, Philadelphia. Wow, is that is that what happens in Philadelphia? Come on, we know. There's needles there. You've seen the uh, you've seen like the videos and stuff. I'm sure you have. They're always on Reddit where like all the people are addicted to the uh, I can't remember the name. I want to say Trine or Trine Trini or something like that. It's like the the drug that comes in the hypodermics. That uh, all uh, like a lot of people. I are, have not heard of this yet. No, they did like there was a documentary that the uh, the uh, that's why I figured you would have seen it. The guy from uh, Channel Five News, isn't that the name of Channel? Oh, 5 News? Andrew Callahan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did a uh, his last documentary was uh, on that. It was pretty good, man. I watched the whole thing. It's it's sad. Um, he even did like a uh, a meeting with uh, quotation fingers like the head of the drug trade. And it was just like some dude in the house. And I was like, this is not the guy. <laughs> I was like, there's no way this is the guy. The whole time, I'm like, in doubt. But I'm like, hey, it's cool that you're meeting with a dealer regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's obviously got loads of the drug, like, right in front of him. And I'm just like, oh, that's a lot of drug. Yeah. And it's like, a, it's a drug they shoot up like heroin? Yeah, yeah. It's weird because it's not real. I think it's like it's like an animal medication of some sort. I can't remember. Oh God! Like, I can't remember the details. Horse but, uh, trank. Yeah. I, I. What's the name of his uh, his new YouTube? I think it's Channel Five News. Channel Five News. Yeah. Check out the Channel Five News guys out there. I don't mind. I haven't watched it, like ever since he got the sexual assault allegations. I only I forgot all mm. about it existed, and then like and then I came across like a video not long ago, and it wow. was. Wow. Now I feel guilty for watching it. Thank you. Yeah. Way to way to go. Yeah. Well, way either way, uh, well, if you don't care about sexual assault, um, go <laughs> watch this video. If you think he's a jerk, then don't. I don't care. Well, guess what? Me and Jonas know sexual assault. Yeah. The only sexual assault we ever do is against each other. That all right? is not true. I flirt with you sometimes, <laughs> and you and you recoil in disgust. <laughs> don't act like that didn't just happen in the kitchen. <laughs> I flirt with you, and you recoil in disgust. 
<laughs> wow, I guess that is sexual abuse. Uh -huh, see, I told God you. God damn. All right. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we out.